All right, Homelander apparently got a trailer within the past like six hours, I'd say. Apparently, six hours ago, the trailer was uploaded. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, we, uh, multiverses just dropped yesterday, so. Another unedited video coming your way because my uh, my other videos do not, you know, if I put in the work for editing the videos, they don't get too much, too many views, you know. So, Homeland, let's see what we got. Again with the milk. Right. You have chosen war with, with a god. god. Yep. No, you have. See what he's got. Fight. Okay. Laser eye stuff. Wow. Whoa, okay. Command grab it air. What the fuck? Does Devorah just like is that Devorah? I don't remember her name. The little girl here. Does she just straight up like auto control you out of the way of shit or something? Okay. That'll get ratings. Damn. You are the most insecure, most selfish sticks and stones, Katana. Wow. Okay. A lot of laser shit. Everyone has a freezing point. Take your best shot, Frosty. Okay. A lot of lasers. I'm noticing he's using his lasers. He seems kind of Omni-Man-like, but if Omni-Man had lasers and, um, was a, I'd say an egotistical asshole, but I think Omni-Man kind of already is that a little bit. Okay. Damn. Okay. He's like flying this entire time instead of walking. Wow. Damn. Him. I was trying to see if uh, the name of the little girl was in here. I don't remember her name. I know she's from MKX, and she used to like ride on the back of like that big like dude with the burlap sack over his face. Um, but she seems like an interesting thing, or interesting uh, assist, I should say, and. I don't really understand how she works, though I don't really understand how a majority of the assists work in this game, because I don't play this game, because it's $70. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but Homelander is definitely looking different, obviously, from Omni-Man, from what I saw of Omni-Man, and what I've seen gameplay-wise of Omni-Man. He seems interesting. Um... I don't know if he has more. I think he has probably more air combos than Omni Man. And he also, I think, has like less I think is like he's a little less cohesive as like a fighting style than Omni Man, because he's not really um like a trained 
officer kind of thing like Omni-Man is. So, at least from a visual aspect, he's a little different. Though he's still doing similar stuff with the flying and the the fucking super strength and all that stuff. But, like, yeah. But I think um, he looks interesting. Let's see what the finisher is. Oh yeah, the airplane. Damn. Right. The thing he did to uh, his boss. Fatality. Homelander. What's the Homelander little girl's name? Wins. I don't know. No idea. Um, I wonder if it says Homelander Farah. That's right, her name's Farah. So, Farah seems like an interesting assist. She seems like. I don't know what that little, like, thing where, like, she was moving out of the way. Did she, like, smart control you out of the way? Some, like, frame perfect, move out of the, the hitbox range type shit so you can, like, have advantage or something? Or is she, like, is it, I don't understand what she does there. Like, there's this part, like, right, uh, I don't remember. Is it here? Yeah, I was here. She, like, moves you perfectly out of the way. For shit, it looks like. Which seems pretty good. Not to mention she acts as, like, a projectile. Because she gets thrown. But. I think that. Homelander looks cool. I think. These DLC characters would probably bring me to the game. If it wasn't for the fact that the game was $70. The only game that I bought for $70, at least that wasn't a pre-order with DLC, was Tears of the Kingdom. And it's the only game I bought in, in general for $70. Unless you're including um, KOF 15, which I did 80 because I got the, like, first two um seasons of dlc sorry the first entire season of dlc all like what was it 30 40 characters that came there was 15 per team and four so like i guess 30 characters was it 30 am i am i tweaking 30 no it's more than 30 so, no, wait, no, I'm stupid. It would be 30 because it was, it'd be less than 30. I'm, why did I say 15? It was $15 per team. It was three times four, 12 characters with KOF 15. But still, actually 13 characters because Rugal, but Rugal was a free character, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, enough of me yammering. Uh, Homelander looks cool. I think that... I think if I, I could quickly kind of break down some of the references. I did watch The Boys before it, got, uh, before it came out, so I didn't get any spoilers or anything. And also, I just wanted to rewatch it. Or not rewatch it, but like, actually finish it. Um, so... Let's see here. If we can catch anything specific before... I leave. Um, this is just normal kind of floating stuff. Right? I don't know if there's any specific references here. Obviously the lasers are a reference to him having laser vision. Um, I noticed a few references in some of these places. 
Honestly, if any of the boys' characters I think would have been cool, that's obvious. Okay, that one's a reference to what he does to his boss. Um, Devora doing the perfect shit, I guess. Perfect movement. Um, she's not really a projectile. She's like a round bounce. Um, I think a more interesting character from the boys would have been Black Noir or Soldier Boy or, um, uh, oh God, Butcher. I think Butcher would have been more interesting, but Homelander is obviously kind of like the most famous one because he's like the main villain and he has, you know, he's like Superman. So we've got two characters that are like Superman. Except one doesn't have laser vision and one does. Um, so, that is a reference to something he does in the very first episode where he catches a bank robber and he throws him up in the air and he lands on a car. And then he says something about views or like likes or something because he's like, about his branding image. Um, let's see what else I can uncover here. Like, I don't think there's any specific references on what he does here because he's not really fighting. He just kind of one punches people. And except in like the end of season three. Again, he throws Devora, sorry, Farah, which is something that the big burlap sack guy does. Did we just see a grab? No, we didn't. These are like basic moves of things that he could do. Obviously, the laser, that's something he does a lot in the show. It's probably like his most powerful thing is the laser it's like an armor point there laser again oh this is a reference i don't remember who he does this to but i know he does this to somebody in the show i think in season two at some point um Damn, the ground slam. I don't... I think it's just a general thing they adapted. This game does look cool. I will say that. But I... I I'm going to have to wait till this thing goes on sale for like 20 bucks. Because I'm not particularly invested in Mortal Kombat. Okay, these supers, I think I already went over their references to things in the show. Watch the show. It's very good. New season coming, apparently, very soon. Anyway, Homelander looks cool. Um, He looks like he'd be a fun character. I think Farah is more interesting. Just off of what she does and how she works as an assist. But, or a cameo, I should say. But, nonetheless, both of these characters look very cool. Um, thank you to everyone who who tuned in and watched. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you guys think of Homelander in the comments. Um, tell me if there's any references I missed. I'm sure there are. And tell me if you think Farah is going to be a degenerate uh, assist character. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye bye